Oh my goodness, look at this mess. I've given you three functions, f of x, p of x, h of x, and now I want you to evaluate them based on yes, minus 8. Okay, so how do we do this? Simple. Remember what this means. You always deal with the innermost first, then go to the outer, then go to the last. So this, if you think about it, is h of minus 8, followed by g of whatever that value is, followed by f of whatever that value is. Work with the middle one first, okay? So here we go. There's h of x right there. So let's put in 8, minus 8 actually, minus 8 and minus 8. So minus 8 plus 2, and we absolute value this. This gives us the absolute value of minus 6, which is just plain old 6. So guess what? We've taken care of this part. Now let's find g at 6. Okay, well, we've got a lot of scribbles here. Oh, there's g. Hey, g. Hey, how's it going? Okay, g. g at 6 is 3x plus 2. Okay, so put the 6 in. So 3 times 6 plus 2. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2. This gives us 20. Woohoo! Now we take that. Now that we know this, we're finding f at 20. Woo! Okay, so f at 20 is going to be f at x is x squared minus 1. So f at 20 means 20 squared minus 1. Well, 20 squared is 400. Subtract 1, 3, not a 9. There's your solution. Wow, was that ever cool.